Hello, people. Welcome to my gameplay of uh, Fire Emblem Sword of Seals, or Binding Blade, as most people know it. I'm playing, uh, I think, the UK version. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm just gonna mute this because I'm just I'm gonna I mute this, as you can see here. So because one, you guys can't hear the music coming from this. And two, I just want to listen to my own music, which is going to be the Persona, not Persona, PlayStation Portable version of Persona, and it's going to be the battle theme, which is a, a lone prayer. So anyway, the people of Continent of Leap have been spreading technology and civilization for some time now, after the dragons had been defeating, have been defeated in the sky. In the west resides the kingdom of Etruria, which has the highest level of civilization in Leap. A kingdom of burn with the powerful military and a practical and pragmatic attitude about life is located in the east. These are two strongest nations in the league, and our lesser nations are located between them. <laughs> there is a listing alliance which is under a joint relationship of various Marquesas. The people of the night of the Knights Union of Ilia are working hard cultivating the snowy wastelands. Oh, oh yeah. Also, if you didn't know, um, Mining Blade or Sword of Seals in the version I'm playing in is the game that Roy's originally from. Which fun fact was made after Melee, so technically Melee was Roy's first appearance. He is nothing like in and Roy in Smash is nothing like he is in um. <laughs> Roy in Melee is nothing like he is in this. Like, he is a hot-blooded, screaming little boy in Smash, whereas, uh, in Binding Blade, he, he's gentle, kind-hearted, uh, basically, basically the opposite of, basically, uh, basically the opposite of what he is in Smash. So yeah, that's a fun fact. Which isn't even fun, it's just a fact. In Cicave lives various clans which rule through the plains on horseback, which is where Lin is from. Although there are occasional clashes between mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. Although there although there were occasional clashes between nation states, there is a general sense of balance of power and peace in Alib. However, that balance was suddenly disrupted. King Zephiel, ruler of the Kingdom of Burn, had sent his forces out to conquer the rest of Alib. Burns forces invaded Sake and Ilya and mercilessly massacred all those who stood. <laughs> oh, excuse me again. Mercilessly massacred all those who stood against them. And now Burn has shown signs of invading the Lycia Alliance. A youth named Roy was in Lycia's largest territory, Ostia. He was sent as a transfer student to train to become the next Marquesa Ferre. However, Elliewood, Roy's father, who had who has fallen ill, has sent for Roy to return home. Just around that time, Lena, the daughter of Hector, had traveled to Lysia to pay her respects to Elliewood. Also, just also just just for a quick note, Elliewood, Lynn, and Hector are both in Fire Emblem. They're they're all all of the basically what basically what I'm trying to say is that. Fire Emblem 7 is like a sort of prequel to Fire Emblem 6. A daughter of Hector who had traveled to the city to pay respects to Elliewood. Why not just say F then? After getting the message, Roy hurried back home, taking with him his loyal knights and boars, a knight from Ostia responsible for Lulina's safety. So the story begins when Roy had reached an area of the outskirts of Ferre. I'm going to restart this. Uh, my music, I mean. This is chapter 1, Dawn of Destiny. Boss! The residents of the castle have hidden themselves inside. <laughs> Even Elliewood, the greatest knight in Lycia, can't beat an illness, eh? <laughs> you were right when you said there wouldn't be many soldiers around here because they are getting ready to take on Burn. Of course, who do you think I am? But you never know when reinforcements are gonna come. All right, kill off the guys. In the okay, Valgo's gonna burp again. Kill off the guys in the castle. We still got time. 
Then the treasure is all ours. Yeah, <laughs> castles ain't the only places with treasure. Let's go ransack the villages and get some loot. Also, fun fact about literally every Fire Emblem game, well, at least the Game Boy Advance games, literally the first village that, that you that you go to, which is usually on, like, the first map, unless unless you're talking about Sacred Stones, and, and it's, I think it's, like, the second map that you actually fight on. But yeah, every every village, every first village you see, well, not you see, because, you know, this one's about to get destroyed. Well, the one on the bandit side is about to get destroyed. But the bottom one, that that houses, like, I think, 5k, G, 5K gold. Mm -hmm. That's the wood. The bandits from Bone Mountain are attacking us. I see. Blast. If it weren't for the state, I would teach them a lesson. Mr. Elliewood? Alina, you must hide. Okay, also, I, I can't do girl voices because. Well, to me, my voice is deep. But. I, I won't even try. I won't even try to do girl voices. Alina, you must hide somewhere. This castle is going to become a battlefield. No, sir, I will fight too. Don't be ridiculous. If something happened to you, I wouldn't know what to say to Hector. To my father, but. It's going to be all right. Roy should almost be here by now, so if we can hold hold our own until then, we can then drive off these bandits. Merlinus, I want you to send a messenger to Roy informing him of this attack immediately. Y yes, sir. <laughs> See, that village right there. That village right there. That is holding, uh, I think, 5,000 gold. Oh, it's Lance. What's the matter? Why are you in such a hurry? Master, I, I can actually, like, just imagine, like, Roy's English voice just coming out of Roy. And I gotta say, I like it. Who is voiced by, I think, Ray Chase in Smash and in Fire Emblem Heroes. So that's actually really cool. I don't know who, vo I don't know who would voice Lance, though, if I, if I could choose, uh, like, a voice actor. Probably the guy who voices Kirito in uh, Sword Art Online. Really good anime, by the way. In my opinion. Or, you know, the voice actor from Sora from No Game of Life. Again, another good anime, but... It's, uh... A lot like Konosuba. Actually, you know, it might be even worse than that. Like, even more degenerate than that. Master Roy. Bandits have appeared and are attacking the castle as we speak. What?! Is Lord Elliewood safe? He's inside, defending against the bandits' attacks, but I don't know how long he can last with his illness. Excuse me, Lance, is it? Is Lady Lena safe? Why I think recording this like 4 a.m. would be a good idea. Like, why? Are you from Ostia? Lady Lena is in, is in the castle. She, she should be alright. Yo, you just yo, you just ignore the question entirely and, and ask if you're if he was from Ostia. As long as Lord Elliewood is with her, but he can't live forever. No, I shouldn't have let Lena go to the castle before me. Well, I just want to say, he, I know his name. His name is Wool. He looks a lot like, I don't know how to say her name yet, since I haven't gotten to that part yet, but I know who she is. But I think it's Aegis. I hope I'm saying that right from Persona 3. He looks a lot like her, at least hair-wise. Lord Roy, reg regret won't solve anything. We must recapture the castle. Wolf is right. We must hurry. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's go. We're going to save those traps in the castle. <laughs> Roy, a little bit about Roy. Roy is considered the worst move. Like, just look at these starting stats: five in strength, five in skill, seven in uh speed. Seven in luck, five and and five in defense. The move and con, the con means like, uh, means like you can carry people, and if they have like a shorter or less con thing than you, you can carry them. And as you see, Roy can't even carry Roy can't even carry someone. And move that 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 means how far you can move. Like this wise, like one, two, three, four, five. That that's what I mean. That's what the game means. I mean. No, fire. Okay. I'm not used to these vanilla fire emblem games. 
Oh, yeah, also in case you didn't notice, Marcus, he is a prequel who, who in every, can not canon, in every legit Fire Emblem game, they, uh, pre promotes are especially dumb. Like, they're literally a pre-promote. Like, like you see how uh, Alan and Lance could actually find Lance. That's Wolt. Okay, so Lance and Alan are Cavaliers, right? It shows them right here. And now if we look at Marcus, it's it says that they are promoted Cavaliers. So yeah, that, that's what you mean by pre-promote. It They are literally just a, a promoted unit at the start of the game, which is incredibly dumb. But it's a but it's a legit fire emblem game, so why not? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I probably won't be using him a lot unless like I actually have to. Damn it, reinforcements already? But they ain't get into the castle so easily. See, he doesn't even kill in like two hits. That's how bad he is. Also, Roy is actually debatably one of the worst lords in Fire Emblem history. <laughs> Hey, hey, are you, aren't you nice going to the castle? This may not be much, but this is something we'd really like to offer you. Please use it well. And also another thing about uh, Cavalier units, and I think Paladins too, is that if you visit someone or like rescue someone, you, if, if you still have like additional spaces to move, like you see that U6, like, I think we we're right here. One, two, three, four. I was only used four. What? Anyway, I think we can only move down, which is why there's only like one spot. See, so, yeah, I think that's why. <laughs> <laughs> and you see boars here, right? He can only move four spaces. Just like one, two, three. And I can't even go in the forest. What the heck? Oh, right. Probably because there was like more trees. <laughs> but Marcus can go in there. What's up with that? Uh, I don't know who created Fire Emblem, but you know who I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
69. Nice. <laughs> also, if I could actually hit R, there we go. Uh, wait, what does this mean? Max rice cream conditions unit, unit with slower con can okay. Constitution affects affects speed loss and rate. Okay. See, I think it, I think that means if it's like lower, I think that that more severely reduces it. So yeah, Roy is definitely one of the worst lords in fire and with those starting stats and that much uh, constitution. Or uh, there, that's a constriction. Did it say constitution? Or did it say constriction? No, I'm going to check after this battle. Mm -hmm. <coughs> no, it's not constitution. I figured he had like 6 HP. What? Wait. Oh, that explains it. <laughs> oh, also, if you see, also, if you actually, if you've actually been paying attention to this, uh, you'll see that there is, that there is like a, uh, an arrow ne next to Rapier, or the picture of Rapier. That means it is the weapon triangle. What that means is that I think, yeah, swords are, swords are strong against axes, axes are strong against lances, and lances are strong against swords. <laughs> and if you've seen and if you've seen the uh archers they don't have they don't really have a weapon weakness but they do have a weapon effectiveness and that is against units called pegasi no, not pegasi pegasi I, I just call them pegasi units like just because but yeah anyway th those are called uh i think those things are called the uh, pegasi I, I just call them pegasi units I, i've gotten to have a call them i really forgot what they're called Anyway, the, the bows are really effective against Pegasus units. You do not want them. You do not want uh, an, a bow using a unit like wool against the Pegasus unit. Like one which I think we will meet yeah, pretty soon. Or not pretty soon, like in another chapter. And we got a level up. Not good. Oh, f I didn't realize it was that low on health. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what if I just like, what if I just like do this? <laughs> Just like do that. <laughs> okay. Also, if you don't know, let me just hit R right there. No, if you don't know what vulnerabilities are, 
they're basically just like heal spells, except you you manually do them. It's they're basically just like heal spells in a oh uh, what's it in Dragon Quest, but you uh but you can't choose who you heal. You can only heal for the unit that uses it. Oh, okay. Okay, first I thought that was Lance. First I thought the banner was Lance. I was like, eh? Like, Lance is like one of, Lance is like one of the best units in this map. Well, in my opinion, he is. Mm -hmm. Lance got a level up. Please be good. That is not good. Yeah, two levels so far and they're both not good. Thanks, Fire Emblem. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
so far no grit, which is highly unusual because most because um I get this consistently, but I can but I sometimes consistently get crits on like the first tries and playthroughs. Not, look at that! Not even doubling, not not nor nor double killing. <laughs> I just want to get. I just want to get. Let Roy get exp. Please, game. Oh, for no, I gotta use a vulnerary. That just shows you that Roy is the worst lord Eve. <laughs> Finally, we get a crit. <laughs> How did that mean? Wait, how much will Roy do? Ah, oh, sometimes too. Okay. That's gonna go 14. God, there's a fly on my screen. Another crit? Oh. We're having another level up. Please be a good one. I mean, it's okay. It's okay, at least. <laughs> what do you have? Okay, so you only have a seal X. <laughs> okay. Marcus time. Because Marcus is incredibly broken and should only be used for boss fights. You damn idiots. Can't you guys take on these dastards? What, what the? S strong. And now a unique thing. Well, not really a unique thing. We have to conquer this. Father, Lulina, Roy, is that you? Roy, Father, Lul you just said that. Guts. Thank goodness you're alright. Roy, thanks for coming this far. Of course, Father. How is your health? I'm fine. I'm still alive, see? But Roy, do you know why I called you back here? I'm to take over your role and join... Oh. I'm going to take over your role of, of leading Ferret's military... And join the Alicia Army Alliance. <clears throat> ah, sorry. Yes. As you know, Bern has started to conquer Lycia. We must follow the ancient rule and set our, our military to, pr to protect the land of Lycia. Yes. I really didn't want to send you out. I really didn't want to send you out because you were still studying. But I'm not well. I would only be a hindrance to you. Father. Dots. Mr. Elliewood. I will accompany. Wait, I thought you called him Master Hollywood. I think I could be wrong. <laughs> my father is in charge of Lysia's main alliance. And I could use my magic to be a summer uh, help, right? Oh, yeah, also, I think we recruit Lulina. 
uh, in a future chapter, which I'm sorry if you get if if this is gonna be if this is your first uh, I'm sorry if this is your like first time watching gameplay of uh what's it Finding Blade. I'm sorry because that is a spoiler, but yeah, she's she's a mage. No, Lena, you must return to Ostia. Why? With Hector's absence, there is no one currently sitting on the throne of Ostia. You all must be feeling uptight as well. You being the daughter of the Marquess, you must take you being the daughter of the Marquess, must take the throne until Hector returns and ease the attention of the people. Am I wrong? No, sir. Right. First, you must go to the burn border and meet with the mercenary group that I have arranged a, a contract with. I'll send Merlinus along with you. He'll be very helpful with his knowledge. Thank you for everything, Father. He'll be fine. You can do it. Go and fight and show them who you are. The next Marquess of Foray. Yeah. Yes. Boris, I have something to ask of you. I know, my lady. I will accompany Roy in his travels and swear to protect him with my life. <sighs> I think that was the first time I yawned this uh, episode. Can't remember. Thank you, Boars. Roy, be careful. I know. You too, Lelina. And that'll be chapter one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I did. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Uh, I actually have nothing else to say here, so, uh, bye.